Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I've just come back from Whitehall Garden Centre. I've just spent two and a half hours there with the family. We had a lovely look round, we had lunch and the Christmas displays, they've got to be the best, in, you know, the best in England. I'm sure they are for garden centres. It's got to be one of the best anyway. And it's definitely the best one I've seen. Um, the displays are absolutely amazing. The Christmas decorations are all colour coded and yeah, there's some gorgeous gifts there as well. It's just a delightful place to visit. So I filmed some footage for you to see so you can enjoy it too. Uh, I'm going to set a little challenge for you. I did pick up this. I'm going to hide the top so you can't see what it is. Any ideas what I purchased? It cost me £2, I think it was two forty nine. And I do show you in the video, you can see me picking it up and you can see that they got a video playing. That's why I saw, you know, so I wouldn't have known what it does and um, what it's for. But yeah, see if you can guess before you get to that clip in the video. So I'll insert the footage now and I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now. Bye. Yeah, so as you come in the entrance, this is the first thing you see. How lovely is this? Absolutely gorgeous. Look at those huskies. It's just so beautiful, it really is. And there's loads of scenes like this in here. It just feels real Christmassy, even though it's the end of October. As I say, if you don't come early, it gets so busy. And every section is colour coded. Oh, look at these lovely reindeer. You could actually spend a fortune what I could in here. There's so many lovely items. And you can see at the end of each section, they actually decorate tree in that colour. That purple and blue look. And lots of peacocks in this section. That wouldn't be one of my colour choices, but obviously very popular for a lot of people. And you've got the pink section, the pink and white, and all the fairies, and oh, the tree's pretty, isn't it? Oh, another scene here, you've got the mice up in the corner, I don't know if you saw that. Fireplace, look. And the mice doing their baking. This is so lovely. Oh, lots of these lovely gingerbread men around. Absolutely gorgeous. Nutcrackers, never seen so many nutcrackers. That gingerbread train look. That beautiful. Crackers. Lovely mugs. Yeah, the mugs are very pretty. Oh, I do love this rolling pin and that jug with the gingerbread man on it. How lovely is that? It's so lovely. Oh, this was cute. Santa climbed up the ladder. I did like that. Yeah, that was lovely. Yeah, and then you got the... Uh, I'm doing a voiceover. I think it's a green... Is it the green, green and like champagne section? Oh, it's nice colours, very nice colours. Just so many different ornaments. Wouldn't it be lovely if you could just have a trolley and go in and pick up all the ornaments you want? Look at this egg. Absolutely beautiful. I remember my mother-in-law used to have a lovely Christmas tree with loads of lovely eggs on there. It's absolutely gorgeous. She must have spent a fortune. Really lovely.
when you think you know it's free to go in here how much you pay for going to Santa Grottos and things and they're not that good nowadays are they you know not what they used to be when we were children I and mean, they're still nice but you know the expense of it or well, they, they couldn't dress it up like this could they cost them a fortune if they did they'd have to charge you a fortune to go in wouldn't they and say this is a free day out you can go and look at everything so, so we spent two and a half hours there today we had lunch outside in the sun there is a player outside you'll see in a minute for the kids and benches and things and go-karts but just look at these decorations. It's just a joy to walk around and see them all. Absolutely lovely. All the different Santas. All the traditional colours. And there was a lot of um, the, the wooden ornaments now, which I like, and the, yeah, the wildlife. Lots of reindeer, foxes, owls, and different things. Hedgehogs. So beautiful, look at the peacocks. Snow globes. It must take him weeks to put all this up and box it and hang it all up. Look, right, Mr. Owl. I love all this woodland stuff. More Santas. Mr. Fox, absolutely gorgeous. I think he was 1999, was that? Oh, which isn't too bad, is it? Because I did pick him up thinking, oh, I could get that. And there's a lovely reindeer. But the reindeer was about 30 something, I think. So I did think twice about it and uh, I put them back in the end, but they are lovely. Trees are nice, aren't they? Scandinavian. We don't have Scandinavians in here. Oh, that's the reindeer. Yeah, see, so he's quite expensive. I did pick him up and the fox, and I seriously thought about buying them. But then I thought, no. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Just for a couple of weeks and then put away again. Oh, another scene here. Look at the dog. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? So lovely. And they've all got music playing as you go around in little different sections. There's all your nutcrackers. The big thing there, look. I do like nutcrackers. Taking it all down at the end, isn't it? Packing it all away, I wonder where it goes, what happens to it. I've often wondered whether they sell out of everything and then it all gets reduced at the end. Pay a visit, you know, but it's definitely well worth it. As I say, it's about 45 minutes from where we live and we go every year. And the food in the cafe and the restaurant is really nice too. They do breakfasts, lunches, lovely cakes and pastries and sandwiches as well, all sorts. I didn't film this in the cafe, I forgot. As I say, we were lucky enough to sit outside. Look how beautiful is this. All the wildlife. Mm -hmm. 
My husband was disappointed he was at work, he couldn't come, so he loves the kimono as well, so we're going to have to go again. Just so I have to show you, it's so lovely. So you don't even have to buy anything, just go for a look round. Oh, I love the reindeer. They were singing. That was so lovely. And they have these wicker baskets. So you can take a wicker basket and go around and pick up your stuff and put it in the basket. I love the colours on this tree. Yeah, I really love the colours on that tree. Oh, look at those polar bears at the top. I don't know what colours I can do on my tree. I might just use the same um, bulbs and flowers and things I had last year. I can't even remember sort of what colours I had. I know it's white and I had some velvety, dusky pink flowers. And I really like some classic kind of baubles and things. Uh, it did look really pretty. But I'll take them out and have a look this year. See what they look like in the room, the colours. And uh, yeah, it might save money to use them. If not, I might have to go and buy some new ones. More nutcrackers. Oh, this is a, the London that. See all the, uh, the London bus soldiers. Got everything here, the phone boxes, the crown look. Taxes, London taxes. And that's Tower of London. Then you've got all the circus elephants. But it's different every year. And then you've got all the candles and the uh, musical little houses and roundabouts and things. They didn't have the train going around this time. Normally they'd have the train going around. That wasn't going this time. Oh, I don't know what this was all about. Uh, who would like a tray with um, a Brussels sprout, fries, burgers, beers, uh, pizza? Mm. My son in law might actually, but no, that wouldn't be for me. Oh, look at this turtle. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely. The pots of champagne. Avocado. Hot dogs. Yeah, and then you've got all the um, table runners. They're pretty, aren't they? Like the one with the gingerbread man on. It's nice. There's just so much. Blankets are oh, loads of lovely blankets and throws. And candles up. Table centre pieces. They've just thought of everything. More table runners, crackers at the back there. Well, loads of Santas. Oh, gingerbread men. Oh, 
these are the advent calendars. Yeah, all the different sweets. All the little decorations are all personalised with names. All these jars of sweets and stupid lollipops, liquors all sorts. Oh, I love liquors all sorts. Stockings. If you're you know, looking for a gift for that, something, you know, something a bit different, somebody's got everything, you can't go wrong here. There's just so much to choose from. Candles, loads of different candles. All these different jars of sweets. And there's some Halloween stuff reduced there. Tins of sweets and biscuits that there's tubes of biscuits, Christmas pudding biscuits that uh, shortbread and oh, I love shortbread. That's it, you love shortbread and gingerbread. Really pretty tins, aren't they? They make nice presents. Oh, and this was outside the uh, play area, it's a massive area as I say with tables and chairs, some were shining as you can see. And they've got tractors, so they're all afraid the kids and ride around on tractors and that, lovely. Uh, now we're back in going to the garden centre, as they do, you know, it's a proper garden centre with lots of plants and things and pots. Uh, there was pumpkin carving down in the back there, but the grandkids have already done that the other day, so at a different centre. And there was a fish place, they went to the fish place, have a look in there. Fish and reptiles, I think it was. I stayed outside because I'm not really a fish person. Yeah, they went into the aquatic centre and they've got animals outside in these little huts here. And back into the garden centre now. And lots of books. There's some really nice books actually. For adults and children. Jigsaws, loads of jigsaws, lots of different jigsaws. Yeah, the mirror just looking outside into the uh, new ornament section. Uh, lots of lovely ornaments in here. Lovely mirror there. There's loads of different styles and gifts and things in here and ornaments and lovely crockery, lovely crockery. There's all the Yankee candles. Just smells lovely in this section. Those houses are nice, aren't they? So lovely. Some of the mugs are like sort of 18 pound. I told me I was slip fingers, oh Wiley. I couldn't have a mug that day. I'd be terrified to pick it up. But they were nice. I do like a China mug, I must admit. I think your tea and coffee definitely tastes better out of China, doesn't it?
So did you guess? This is what I picked up. It's supposed to be making it easier to cut the wrapping paper. So I thought for £2.50, they made it look easy. I thought I'll have to try that. I'll let you know how it, how it goes. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully it's made you feel a bit festive. And you know, if it's not too far away from you, yeah, take a visit. I'm sure yeah, you won't be disappointed. So we absolutely loved it. Yeah, I could have spent a lot longer there. I could have gone round again. It was so nice. And it was nice because it wasn't so busy, you know, when we have been before and you've been shoulder to shoulder going around. So, yeah, it does get very busy. So something to be mindful of. Pick the times that you go if you do pay a visit. But, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll leave you to watch the end of this video. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.